So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a phospholipid bilayer like this, and you can make a flat one or a curved one. So go ahead and open up a new file. Make sure the profile is set to web. And you can start off by making an ellipse. And I set my fill color to tan, but obviously you can use any color you want. So make sure you have the object selected. And from there, you can resize the object by holding down the shift key to make sure you don't distort the shape. And uh, now you can move on to drawing the tails. And if you're happy with how your tail looks, you could actually change the uh, color of it. I like to pick um, to match mine to the color of the inside of the ellipse, but you could choose whichever color you like. Next, choose a round cap for the stroke of the tail. Next, um, arrange um, the ellipse to be at the very front, so bring to front. Then you can duplicate the tail by just holding down Alt and dragging. Duplicate that phospholipid by holding Alt and dragging. And then also make sure that you have your smart guides on to help you out. So now you're going to transform that uh, copied phospholipid. And first you're going to transform, reflect, and horizontally, but you're also going to transform and reflect vertically. And so then you can go ahead and group those two phospholipids, and then you can duplicate it by holding down Alt and dragging. And you can do that over and over again until you're happy with uh, your lipid bilayer. And don't forget the align action, which is going to help us uh, make sure our phospholipid bilayer is even. So you're going to align it vertically to the top and make sure that it's horizontally um, distributed evenly. Now if you want to have a curved bilayer, you can make a copy by holding down Alt and dragging. And uh, next, what you're going to need to do is group your bilayer, so Command G. Next, you can go ahead and select Effect, uh, Warp, and Arc. And then you can adjust how much you want it to arc. 